All right, YouTube. Today I'm going to walk you through a pretty common and counterintuitive problem about average velocity. And back again to help us out is our little guy on a bicycle here. You see, this problem goes that a, a dude on a bike or a person on a bike is going to cruise along at 5 meters per second for a total of 500 meters. And then we're trying to figure out how fast they're going to have to travel. In order to cover a 1,000 meter course, with an average velocity of eight meters per second. Now the issue here is that people try to solve this problem simply by finding the average of two numbers that happens to work out to be eight. But the reality is that entire method is wrong. And to understand why this solution is wrong, let me show you a graph of the position versus time of our little guy on a bicycle. You see, we want this little guy to cover 1,000 meters with an average velocity of 8 meters per second. So using our equation for average velocity, which is change in position over change in time, we know we want the bicycle to go 1,000 meters in some certain amount of time. So our little guy on his bike has 125 seconds to travel this full 1,000 meter course. Now, if a person cruised along at a nice and steady 8 meters per second, we'd see a nice neat diagonal line. But they don't. They're only moving at 5 meters per second for the first 500 meters. Now, if you use our equation for average velocity and you do the math on it, you'll find it takes 100 seconds for the person on the bicycle to go the first 500 meters of this trip. So looking on our graph, 100 seconds sits right about here because I didn't count out the divisions right before I did this problem. But we'll see, it takes these 100 seconds to get to 500 meters. And this is where we start to see the issue here. See, so if the first 500 meters take up 100 seconds, that's going to leave our little dude with only 25 seconds to go the next 500 meters. And if you do the math on that, our little guy's got to go 500 meters in only 25 seconds. We find our little dude's got to go 20 meters per second over the last 500 meters. You see, the issue here is that these 125 seconds were the total time the little guy had to travel the full distance. But by going slow for the first half of the motion, he effectively ate up 100 seconds. which left our little guy with only 25 seconds to get to the finish line. Now the question comes up, is 20 meters per second across flat ground on a bicycle even possible? And the answer is, well, sort of, for a few of you. You see, in 2007, Chris Hoy set the world record over 500 meters, 24.758 seconds which is just underneath our 25 seconds that our little dude left himself to get to the finish. So technically, is this possible? Yes, but realize he was on a state-of-the-art bike on an indoor track, whereas most of us are on bicycles that we probably left outside in the rain and have rusted over. Regardless, I hope you found this useful, and on that note, that's all for now.